Welcome to another episode of Royal Rumble. Please step by for the upcoming fight. This time, the Greenskins will face up against Britonia. So, welcome to another on online battle, another Royal episode of Royal Rumble. This time, I'm playing with Greenskin and I'm facing up against uh, Britonia. So, in fact, my Greenskin build against Britonia is quite similar as the Greenskin build against Empire. So I found out that also Greenskin um, has a, or Greenskin has a, also a really good matchup against Bretonia. And yeah, let's see what, uh, let's go to my composition over here. So I have, um, let's do that. I have Orc Boys in front line mixed with, mixed with Savage Orcs. And they are quite strong. The melee attack, weapon strength is very good. Uh, the, uh, damage dealer, um, the melee defense is quite low, but they are for the charge in the front line, for the char charge in the enemy front line, and same as in the Empire build, um, qu quite good um, and uh, very strong damage dealer over here. So on the second line, I have Biggins, because Biggins are very are a high tier infantry unit so the performance is very good they have a lot of weapon strength 42 you can see it over here and they also have a quite yeah okay amount of ammo piercing about uh, of 12 and they have a bonus versus large so they should perform quite good against also heavily um, armored um, cavalry of Pretonia or Empire. So in fact the performance against cavalry is quite good. And you can see also the leadership is very high over here. Very good stats overall. Um, Biggins are a very very elite unit, very elite infantry unit. I like them very much. So on the back line as always to a group of uh, Bog Arrow Boys and a group of Rusty Arrows. This combination is quite good, even if the Orc Arrow Boys make not that significant amount of damage, but it adds up. Also, against um, Peasant Bowmen and stuff, can directly snap them out, because they will damage them really fast, or really, yeah, they make a lot of damage over there. But you can also, on, also the, the rest of the... Um, Bretonian infantry is not so heavily armored, so the performance should be very well over here. In the last line, I'm not I'm not having any Arachnor spider over here, so it's it's very bad to bring anything any large unit against Bretonia because Bretonia is Bretonia can snipe out large units very fast, so don't do that. So instead of a, a Ragnarok Spider, I have Black Ox with me. And the Black Ox perform, as you all, all of you know, the performance is very, they perform very uh, strong, very, very strong unit, very steady unit. A lot of armor piercing, very elite unit. But you don't have to bring more, two are enough. And also the back line, so you can decide, you can think about it, where you have to um, send them. So you can send them in on the right side or right front and yeah you can make some decisions on the last line it's in my opinion the best option to bring them then of course is always um, goblet big bosses free over here very good performance against any flying lord very good i like them very much they're very fast i put them on spiders in this case or i'm on the in the empire build and put them on wolves but uh, here on spiders, on spiders they have not the, the they are not so fast as on wolves, but they have a uh, they're stronger. I think I think they're a little bit of more weapon strength or something like that. A little bit more expensive, but not much. I think 100. But last but not least, a Vosak on foot, not on a boar, because it's not he's not uh, you can you don't care. It's he's not able. To or the Pretonia, Pretonia is not able to snap him, snap him out very fast, because on foot it's he's very squishy and will fly around. So 
it's not a uh, Bretonia will but it will take some time till the Bretonia player can, will snipe them out. So on the boar, uh, Bretonia can kill a Wilsack very fast. So let's go to my opponent. We have, um, let's see, we have Battle Pilgrims in the front line. Legendary Holy, Holy Wardens of Lamazon Tal, also Battle Pilgrims. My, in my opinion, very good against not so heavily armored greenskin units. Against this front line, it's very good. But you can see, already can see, I outnumber him over here. Then we have Foot Squires, also very good decision in my Men at Arms and Pole Arms. Men at Arms, Pole Arms. Beast Slayers of Bastone and Foot Squares over here. Then we have Men at Arms and Foot Squares. So I have a Grail Really Crying in the middle, Fey Enchantress. Let's go to the cavalry. So, in my opinion, this is this is quite competitive build over here. Very strong, very strong build. The front line really good damage dealer against my front line. The back line foot squares over here, foot squares over here. The protector side, men at arms and pole arms. Also to pre protect the back line, men at arms and pole arms. Beast slayers can send him in the front line against large units like maybe a Ragnarok but also against Orc Bobber Biggins and stuff very good for protection of the front line over here good then we have foot squares for to support the front line very good against elite infantry units from against Biggins or also against to compete against Black Ox very good over here it's a very good pick also, Fey Enchantress, all around the all around the lot. <laughs> so always good to bring a Fey Enchantress. A lot of mobility on this, yeah, on this mount. The spells are very good. A lot of um, much supporting spells for the for the infantry. Very good. You can always bring them. Of course, she, she's not really good in melee combat, but in other things, very good pick. So let's go to his. Um, to his uh, cavalry, we have defenders of Fleur this list, the uh, legendary uh, knights errant unit. Uh, so um, I, till now I'm not testing tested them, but overall they should be quite good. Um, yeah, against green skin you can definitely bring them. A lot of charge bonus over here. You can see that forty nine. It's quite good. You can bring that, of course, against green skin. In my opinion, you do nothing wrong with that. So, questing knights always very good. I think questing knights, yeah, can bring them. Of course, should be you should be fine. But the the most thing is they make armor piercing, and you don't have to do that much armor piercing against green skin. As I said, it's okay to bring them. They should perform very well. But also, maybe you can save a little bit of money, bring two other units of cavalry. In my opinion, also possible. Then we have a unit of Knights of Leonhardt, Knights of the Realm, Legendary Knights of the Realm in it. My opinion, also very good. Huge amount of charge bonus, you can see that here. It's incredible. 68 over there. Armor 80, very good over here. It's very strong, anti anti large in the fact, but it's okay. But overall, I'm, I think every cavalry unit of Bretonia should perform good against, uh, or is at least a good thing to uh, take with you. But as I said also in a former video, the infantry, or as I said here, the biggins perform very well against cavalry. Also savage orcs. So it's not so easy that you it's not so that you can cycle charge over here and everything is fine. The performance is okay, but you have to protect them also, take the watch out after them, and um, yeah, pull them charge in and pull them out at the right moment. Because as I said, in melee combat, 
Savage Orcs or Biggins will massacre cavalry really fast. But as Britonia, it's important to bring cavalry, in my opinion, also against Greenskin. And I think here on the right flank, very good. And also here, these two over here. Very good decision to bring that. So let's go over here. A very long introduction. And yeah, we have a charge in over here, you can see. Very long front line. And it's very good um, for me that I have this wide front line over here because you can see now Blackhawks are coming. No. I'll support my units over here with. Uh, you can see that WAC plus, plus 58 melee attack. See this for example over here. To show you on the biggest, that nearly you can see that it's 100 milli attack over here. This is huge. So also very, always very good. And over here, he yeah he overcommitted with the Fane Chantress, and this was not so good because I, I I saw that, and directly sent him my big bosses over here, and they will make short process here. So they will attack the Fane Chantress and they will, she will take a lot of damage within seconds. So also here you can see I'm charging in with my Black Ox. Good foot of Gork going down over here. A lot of damage. This is not completely broke up. Foot Square is still in, in combat. But it was a quite good one. I think it was not overcasted. In fact it was... Uh, Usual cast was good. So I waited very long with my black orcs to see how is the performance over here. And as I said, on which side I should join the fight. So we have a um, the dwellers below going down over here, but I, I think he missed it. Don't know what he would like to. I think he would. <laughs> I think he would like to get my group of black orcs, and I think it was a co coincident that I run out at this moment, so he missed it. And yeah, I don't know if he overcasted this one, but I have, was luck from very. <laughs> I'm very lucky. You can see the charging over here. Very good. So in fact my Blackhawks took a lot of damage from that charge. And this was a very good one. You could see here the performance of the um, Holy Ones of Lemos and Tal is very good. They are, they are still in combat and um, yeah, make a lot of kills. I think 64 and performance is very good against the Orc Biggins also. But I think no, I think them. Um, you can see Orc boys were, were also here on the front line, and they may they still managed it to f to kill the savage orcs and stuff. And the Orc begins war were in the second line and joined the fight on the front line, and now they are fighting to uh, against the holy wards of Labels and Tal. But they 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 managed it to kill at least I think one or two units. So the performance of these guys with this <laughs> very good against green skin. In fact, Battle Pilgrims should should perform quite good against Greenskin overall. You can see here the Questing Knights uh, <laughs> run down my my rusty arrows over here. They took a lot of damage, but it's still online. Uh, shaking, but actually it's it's okay. So in fact, my in this case my Og Arrow boys and <laughs> five kills, and the rusty arrows. I think they made not so much kills because, as you can see, this forest is not very very good for me. 
because the arrows will hit the trees over there and you have no no clear uh, no clear range you can you will miss a lot of things or you will hit a lot of other things here in the trees and stuff so it's not very good that is the reason why they and this uh, it, it's a it's a big disadvantage over here choice fain chantress um, <laughs> judge in my Hawk arrow boys here and also the knight of knights errand very good this is in my opinion a very good thing for or one of the reasons why Britonia is so good the the constantly cycle charge on the back line so it's very difficult to protect a back line also if it is huge like this so you can cycle charge over here and he will runs out and then the other unit comes from there and he comes this is this is very you can bring a lot of and you can bring a lot of cavalry with you so it's very difficult to protect a wide front line like this and he managed it to oh, you can see here a group of orc boys my opinion if you have a right front line like this you can put one unit and send them on command that they have to attack them and you can leave that out because you cannot uh, protect the complete front end over there so this unit will um, chase this chase this unit over here you can see this this orc boys will chase the knights of the lionheart and it's my opinion you can do that in this uh, in, in such a situation now i managed to kill his uh <laughs> you can see the arrow is <laughs> in here um, Here, I think I managed to kill the Fey Enchantress. And overall, it was quite it was a quite good game of of my opponent because on, on this point um, the performance um, of the Beast Slayers of Bastone with the Holy Wardens of Mlaibos of Tal in combination with this Grail really quite was so good. I'm, I was not able to clean it up over here. I was destroyed from this combination but on the rest of the um, on the front line you can see that over here this blob everything won over there and now joining the fight over there and also over here I won everything and joined the fight over here because uh, uh, so you can say usual foot squires and the men and arms and pole arms are not able to hold the line against savage orcs and orc bar where big orc begins um, because they get overwhelmed it's too much savage orcs a lot of savage orcs and uh, in combination with the orc begins a lot of stuff to handle and but on this side these are the legendary units and the performance a lot of very good and they they are also two legendary units here so the performance over here was quite good and i was not able to get through this now my black ox get sandwiched over here you can see that but overall it's um, it's quite over even if it's not um, knights errant are charging in but they they get massacred from black ox no problem but overall it's it's over here Some kills over here 
but it's it's not an, it's it's not enough so um, as I said I think it's it was a very good build also my opponent was very good quite good game it was a lot of fun thank you for that but um, as I said you have to very be, be very careful with your cavalry because the performance of the orc infantry against cavalry is very good you can see the kills over here from the big ones incredible nearly 100 kills from these two units so the black orcs in fact performed okay but the big ones were well, very good i think you can also bring more big ones with you so i'm not sure it's it's okay to bring black orcs because you have to compete against foot squares but i also was able to kill the foot squares over here with my big ones should I should be able to overwhelm I was able to overwhelm them and in combination with Orc Boys and Biggins I was able to kill them. So it's not really necessary to bring bring Black Orcs I think. So I will take a look on this bird, maybe I bring more Biggins or something like that. I have to, yeah, we will see. So overall you can see the battle pitter performed really well. Also, this Holy Wardens of Lemos and Tal, you can see it's double amount of kills over here from them compared to the usual battle pilgrims. And we still have a foot squares also. Yeah, this, this unit performed not really well because it did not get any anti large bonus. So have in fact, no large units over here except for these big bosses on the spider. But okay, but also the foot squares is okay. I would bring more battle pilgrims, I think. But I'm not sure how to count the green skin build over here. But um, overall, it's it was a really good game and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, um, thank you for tuning in and please let me know if you have any questions or also if you would like to see something special. Um, yeah, please let me know and. Thank you as always and see you next time. Thank you.